Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever it is at what point you're watching this. Welcome to the virtual edition of Back to School Night. I'm Mr. Ward, and this video is for my creative writing class. So I also teach Writing Workshop 7. There are two different videos. If uh, your child is fortunate and lucky enough to have me for two classes, this video will be shorter than the Writing Workshop one, I promise. So creative writing is an elective. Students theoretically chose to be in here. Most of them did. Um, I asked why they chose to be to take this class, and 90% of them said they love to write, want to improve writing creatively, like to write fiction, don't necessarily like writing essays and academic kind of writing. This is the class for them. Most of what we do is fiction writing. There's opportunities for poetry and other stuff as well, script writing. Um, here's kind of how the class is broken up. The first, generally the first marking period, we'll say. It might be a little shorter or longer this time, depending on how things go here. This is obviously the virtual environment, new to all of us. Um, so I have them work on like kid storybooks and picture books, where they'll actually draw like the pictures that go with it. And this is a cover of one. There's another one from another year. Like kids take. And I have them take non-living, basically out-of-the-box objects or things and turn them into characters. So think Night at the Museum. Um, this one, they turn the doll, the Christmas tree, and the Target shopping cart into characters. It's almost like SpongeBob. We take Sponge Under the Sea and turn it into a character. Kids generally love this. Normally, I have them work in groups. This year, I'm not sure that that's going to be possible. Um, a... We're all virtual, be even if we were here, we can't necessarily sit right next to each other and draw together and do all the stuff that generally makes that fun and enjoyable. Still working that out. There might be a way to do groups, but it'll definitely be different. But even without that, students generally love this. Um, if art's not your specialty, I'm not judging artwork. It's not our class, but uh, we could all draw picture, or find pictures online and that kind of stuff. That's one thing. The other thing after that, I generally have students work on, quote, unquote, a portfolio. We write as much or as little as we want, meaning this. Every day, we'll write. They'll have independent writing time to write whatever they want. They have to write during that time. However, if they want to work on 10 short stories, 8 poems, whatever, they have that freedom. If they want to work on larger works, um, I've had students in the past start and kind of continue working on books that they've been writing. A couple years ago, I had one student write me like 40 pages over the course of the marketing period. They can work on that. So they really have a lot of freedom. The only thing is they have to write. And at the end of the second marketing period, I have them pick two things they've worked on, revise them, get feedback, and turn those in for like a larger test grade. Um, there really is no homework for this class. Again, it's an elective. Especially this year, I don't want to overwhelm anybody at home. So this should not be something that you necessarily need to worry about. Uh, every day I will say this, there's like a do now. So a lot of times I have them do it in Google Classroom or I'll give them the first sentence of the story and continue it or ask some kind of creative kind of question. I do put that in as a grade just to make sure kind of we're doing it. So if you're seeing missing, it means they're not doing it. If a student is absent that day, they're exempt from that do now. It's not something I want them to spend time going back to do. Other work in class, they would obviously need to make that up. Um, I'm almost about four and a half minutes, so I want to wrap this up. If you have any questions throughout the year, just email me, fward, W-A-R-D, at collsk12.org. That's fward at collsk 12 org and other than that uh, we're going to have a dynamic amazing year and 